This video will demonstrate the use of radio sonder weather balloon data in setting up atmospheric profiles and how they are used by ModTran. It's important that if you're trying to match existing measurements or to do an exact simulation that you use the best available atmospheric data. You should keep in mind that the default atmospheres such as U.S. Standard or Mid-Latitude or averages over long periods of time and over large geographic areas. In order to input radio sun data, you go to the first input screen and instead of picking a default atmosphere, you can use new model atmosphere in which you will have to manually enter all of the, the, v the values. Or you can pick radio sun data which will allow you to download data from a website. We're going to demonstrate the latter. Once we've selected that, now we need to go to the screen which will allow us to access the website. There are three websites that you can access from within PC ModWin. One is a NOAA site which covers the United States. The other two, one from the University of Wyoming and one from another site, uh, provide worldwide data. We'll select the NOAA site and now we need to configure our download. Because we're located in Massachusetts, we're going to pick the site in Massachusetts, which happens to be at Chatham, which is down on Cape Cod. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that you should pick a, a site that is close to where you are making your simulation as, as possible. So for example, Chatham will be a marine environment. If we were interested in something more inland, we might pick a site near Albany. You also need to pick the uh, date that you're interested in. The NOAA website has historical data going back to 1990. We're going to pick uh, something more current. We'll pick something from May the 5th of this year. We'll pick it at local midnight. In general, weather balloons are launched at local midnight and local noon. Once we've done that, we need to download the data. Downloads are fairly quick. We can view the details and it will show us uh, how many data points were read uh, and, and other information about the radio sign. You'll notice now that we have populated 34 layers of data in our atmosphere. We can page through those. This is layer number one. We have the pressure in millibars, the temperature in degrees uh, centigrade, also the dew point in degrees centigrade. Uh, the other values, um, values for molecules that are not taken by the radio sun, uh, will default to what's uh, specified on card one. So again, in, in those cases, you would pick a default atmosphere. You'll notice that as we go higher up in the altitude, um, the pressure and temperature will be decreasing. We could go through all 34 layers, but now I'll run this case. You'll notice that the transmission is uh, in the range of about 0.5 to 0.7. To illustrate the effect of this, let's go back and let's now go back to a U.S. standard and rerun this. And you'll notice there's a considerable difference. So once again, it is extremely important to use radio sun data whenever uh, you can to do your calculations. This concludes our video on using radio sun data in PC ModWin and ModTrain.